basically the assignment was um, we were going to write an essay that was um, a novel of manners essay. Uh, it was on a novel of manners. Yeah, and we're going to be critiquing her essay and we're going to um, kind of analyze sentence structure. So, yeah. Inside Emma, Austin adds her own insight to, to the environment in which she lives in. Rather than develop through her dialogue between characters, the device is often woven in descriptions of settings and the characters' actions. Although these subtleties may make it difficult to understand, the over-exaggeration of the characters provides the illustration of the lifestyle that the characters are accustomed to and what necessities are considered to be important. Even in the first three pages, there's a transportation complication. My dear, how am I to get so far? Randall's is such a difference. I could not walk half so far. No, Papa, nobody ever thought of your walking. We must go in the carriage to be sure. Austin, page three. The character of Mr. Woodhouse complains of not being able to walk that far of a distance, which enables his daughter, a woman, to bring up the, the other use of transportation that they have. The carriage, which is also a luxury that a low-class family would not have the privilege to own. So basically, do you think that like it flows really well? Okay, so that's why I highlighted this portion red. I thought that this was very awkwardly worded. Um, may make it difficult to understand the over-exaggerated actions of the characters provides the illustration of the, it just kind of goes on and on and on and you get kind of lost in it, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you might want to shorten that up a little bit, take out some of the, it's a little bit too wordy, you know? Yeah, I even yeah. added in um, uh, necessities are considered to be important because you read it out loud, um, <clears throat> to be important, but you just had important that. Uh, sometimes reading your essays out loud to yourself will help you uh, get, a, get, a better, get better fluency with it. You want to have good fluency when you're writing an essay. You want to make sure it reads out loud well, just as well as it reads in your head. Because when you read uh, in your head, sometimes you can just you know breeze through it. But if you actually take the time to read it out loud, it will you'll have more effective fluency. You see what I'm saying? Uh, I thought that where it said the character Mr. Woodhouse complains of not being able to walk, I thought it would be where it said the character Mr. Woodhouse complains about his inability or the yeah. ability to walk that far of a distance because mm -hmm. that can be short. Yeah. yeah, we're really just trying to find ways to make these sentences flow better and make them sound uh, sound better and so that it's a, it's a more effective essay. Mm -hmm. um, and what I would also suggest uh, for the quote mm -hmm. is the introduction to the quote, you know, the sentence just before, mm -hmm. right? It, it just says that there's a transportation, transportation confrontation, and then the quote just reads like two people talking. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it, it could be like anything, you know what I mean? Oh, okay, like, so you want could, the background? Yeah, sure. Okay. But not too much. I mean, yeah, not too much good. exposition can really like, crash any sort of essay or script or what have you. Okay, so you want me to uh, uh, summarize, but not like overly summarize. Right. Because the yeah. quote, it just seems kind of like, like throw it in there, you know yeah. what I mean? Okay. Integrating yeah. quotes is very, it's always hard. Like, I, I still, like, yeah. still have trouble integrating yes. quotes. Especially if it's a dialogue just, between two people. Yeah. Like, it's really awkward to put it in an essay. Like, you, like, you know what you want that quote to do to your essay. Like, you know what kind of effect you want it to have, but you just don't know how to introduce it. Right. Because, yeah. like, we, you read the book. You read, yeah, you're, you know what it is. Yeah. But the person reading your essay doesn't know what the quote means. Right. Okay. Yeah. And then you don't want to put unnecessary things that don't need to be in the quote, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You only and need to add things that you want that will help your essay. Let me see if I can find the essay in general, don't just put a whole lot of fluff in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because fluff, like, the amount of words won't make your essay better. Just no. Make, putting big more words more into more. an essay, it doesn't often make it sound better. It makes it sound like you've no. tried too hard, you know? It seems worse. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, this is why it's good to get peer revision, because getting feedback from your peers can help you, like, um, like, Rihanna, you might have thought that, like, that quote was per totally fine where it was, yes. but hearing feedback from us, uh, you know. Because I found the actual quote, cool, and there's a lot more than the yeah. context around than it. just the dialogue. Yeah, because um, basically, um, in this book, Jane Austen's Emma, um, Miss Taylor, she's trying, uh, Miss Taylor, they're like, the house governess left, so they want to go visit her, but it's a far trans like a far walk away and he doesn't want to walk. So what I'm truly trying to put into my analysis is that 
he has his own transportation that he's going to use, mm -hmm. but he's too lazy to walk because he has his own. Right. right. So how do you think I would do that? Do you think I? Do you think that I already do that? That's a nice word choice, though. Transportation confrontation. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Alliteration. Yeah, there you go. Alliterations are always good. No, that was yeah. actually. <laughs> well, there's another word for that. It's rhyming. I mean, well, not. Bars. Guys. Nice. I'm trying to Okay, um, so. Yeah. <laughs>